guys here so I'm with my 220 gallon reef tank my fish are getting pretty hungry you can see so I'm going to show you uh, which foods I use to feed them I'm going to feed them shrimp uh, a couple different kinds of shrimp and I'm going to show you what I do I take a little bit of uh, my aquarium water and I usually feed them frozen shrimp so look at them they're getting hungry watch this they come to this corner you're going to follow me watch come on guys here they all are they're all getting ready to eat so follow me Let's go get some shrimp for a moment. Hey guys, I'm back. So I got my different uh, foods here. Um, I like to feed all my fish. I like to feed them uh, mice and shrimp. Uh, it's free from harmful parasites. That works pretty good. They love that stuff. Um, so I always feed them one of those. So I usually take out one, just one cube, and I put it in the water I grab from my aquarium. You can see that right there. So we're gonna let it on thaw. The other one, uh, the other one I feed my fish is from Omega One Frozen. Um, it's a uh, it's a uh, brainy shrimp. That works pretty good. It's more of a more of a treat for them. It works pretty good. So usually I take uh, one cube of that as well and I mix that in. Put them in my little you know little container here. Mix that up. And the other one I usually use I don't have the package for it, but it's larger shrimp, so I can feed my anemones in different corals. So I put a chunk like that. It's bigger for the bigger fish, like my Nassau tang. He's like 12 inches long, you know, and he really can eat up a lot. So I'll put that in the water as well. So that's just my aquarium water. And I usually I'll mix that up and let that unthaw. Um, one other thing I do is I usually put a, a little bit of garlic guard in there. Um, it helps with the parasites. Usually you can get worms. They can get worms in their stomachs. So usually this will help keep the parasites off them, kill it. Um, ick too as well. Um, you shouldn't even really have any ick in your tank if you're quarantining your fish. Or, you know, if the temperature, the, you know, if the temperature keeps fluctuating, you know what I mean? The, the ick, they like, if, if the, the ick don't usually come unless you change in like temperature and the heat and stuff. It stresses out the fish. Um, to knock on wood, I've never had ick in my tank at all. Um, very fortunate. But if you stick to those rules, keep your, your heat, you know, your heat fluctuating, keep your fish happy, no stress in the tank, you shouldn't get it. Or introducing it in tank because ick is always in your tank. You'll never get rid of it. It's there. It's dormant, you know. But as soon as you have it, usually I find like purple tangs and blue tangs and stuff like that. They get it a lot. But, you know, a little bit of vitamin there. A little bit of garlic guard really works pretty good. So I'll mix that in there as well. And let that unthaw. And then I'll show you the fish go crazy for it. All right, guys. Just give me a couple minutes here. So get this back here to my 20, 220 gallon reef tank. So I just got all of my... Uh, my fish food is all mixed up there. You can see she's all unthawed. Um, one other thing I like to do too, so I can feed my corals at the same time, is I like to use, uh, you see that? It says reef roids. It works pretty good. Engineered coral food, Polyp Lab. So it's pretty good, like, you should see this. I'm gonna show you an example when I like spot feed a coral, what happens, okay? So just give me a minute here. I got I got my ladder out, because if you look, my tank is taller than I am. So I need to get on a ladder to open the canopy. So just bear so with me. I got my canopy open there right now. I'm running three uh, Gen 2 uh, Radions in there. Um, so I got the canopy open. She's up, she's ready to go. So I got my, I got all my food ready. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just feed the shrimp and stuff uh, to, the, to the fish. Then I'm gonna show you the refroids, what, what the corals do for that. They, they love that stuff. All right, so let's feed the fish here right now. Let's watch them go. Three different kinds of shrimp. This is where I usually feed them on the right side of the tank. I'm just gonna first just give me a second. I'm gonna shut my uh, my pumps off here. Just hit the button. There's one. Put it on uh, feed mode. This way they get to eat a lot better. Put this one on feed mode as well. The MP40s, they're awesome. I'm gonna do another video on those later on between the MP40s and the Java. See what you think about those? All right, so here we go. Come on, guys. They're all coming over. There's my platinum. Let's watch them feed. There they go. So that's the three different kinds of shrimp. I sort of spooked them a bit. I don't think they like those the cameras there. Stand back a little bit. Yeah, so the Gen 2s, I really like them. I used to have T5s, but I find the, the coral growth is getting pretty, it's pretty crazy. I think I spooked my fish here with the camera. Come on guys, oh yeah, I wanted to show you too. If you look here, my uh, my onyx clowns are they've been laying eggs. They lay eggs like every you know every three weeks or whatever. And there's my anemone. No water's moving, so it's getting crazy. So let's dump dump some more uh, some more food in here for them. Get the frenzy starting. He's gonna hog it all up. 
Let me shut the light off in here. That might freak them out. Usually I don't have the light on in the room. Oh, the other fish are help. There we go. The big hippo tank's coming out. He's a yellow belly. He's about five years old, too. He's catching up to my Nasso. I have another, uh, just regular uh, hippo tank in there as well. If he ever comes out. I think I freaked them out there. They're coming, though. Let's dump some more in. There you go. Everybody's starting to come out now. Everybody's happy. So you guys want to see uh, what was under the hood a bit here. So yeah, I just got three uh, Gen 2 Radions hooked to a Reef Link. I showed you my other video. Um, so then the, the one on the left is the one I changed the fan in my other video. Because it was overheating and it was blinking uh, red. And I insulated my canopy a bit because here in Canada, it's, it's hard to keep the tank regulated back and forth. I got two 400 watt heaters going on so yeah there we go they're out and they're feeding everybody's out and about all right so in the next part i'm going to show you uh feeding them the reef rights to the corals it's coral time to feed i'm just going to get a get a little bit of uh a little bit of tank water here i'm going to put that right here I'm going to just take the, the top, what I usually do is I just take a little scoop out of the reefroids, like this, use that little lid, and I just drop it, oh, drop it in there, don't need very much, it's hard to see what you're doing here on camera, a little more, drop that in there, whoop, getting your dicky, so do that, and then I grab my, I got a, one of those feeding ones. So I'm just going to mix it up. Just like this. So first up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, I'm going to feed my mushrooms here. So you just fill that up. See the water going up inside it? There we go. So next. So I'm just going to put this into the tank, just like this. So I'm going to spot feed these mushrooms. This guy's my head. There was one, they've been splitting like crazy. So what I do is you just slowly feed them the reef roids here see it just but watch just give it time he'll start moving he'll flip right up like a balloon see these guys too them all. They really, they really present their colors, just the reef roids. Let's give it time here. Okay, I'm gonna get some more. Shoot that into there. Okay, go back in here again, pick up some more. Alright, I think he's soon gonna go. Let's get back in here. I think he's soon going to start flipping. Watch this. Let's put some more on there. Watch. You know the other guys too. Just give it time. He's going to start flipping here. Watch. I love this stuff. See him starting to move? That means he's starting to grab it. He's going to start feeding himself. Just keep watching him. He's curling. He 
this guy's gonna go to any minute. It's pretty neat. Feed the other guys a little bit. That's enough for them, but just watch. Watch what's gonna happen. See them starting to fold over on each other? Spray a little more. So you all see that? How much they love that stuff? Yeah, they just keep folding, folding until you can't even see the green anymore. This guy's almost done. You can see his mouth in there. He's going to feed on it. There he goes. He's going. It's practically all closed up there now. There's Mandarin. He's looking for some food, too. Maybe he's looking for it. Right, I'm going to show you feed this other coral, it's pretty cool. So I'm even going to, I'm going to feed my shrimp a little bit too. Call him Jack the Shrimp. So watch this, I'm going to feed him. It's crazy. He loves this from Look at him go. He loves it. So the next thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to feed my SPS corals. They like that as well. Just feed in there. There's little crabs in there. SPS crabs. So just feed those as well. And then I'll come down here. Give my anemone a shot, he likes it. He really likes this stuff. Go over here. Got an e can. Feed my e can. That. And then I just, I'd like to feed, feed all my SPS corals as well. See all the polyps on them. And my Duncans. See that? Watch this. They're going to close right up as soon as they get the food. Yep. Alright. So that's how I, I spot feed my tank. I'm going to turn the pumps back on. So I have all that refroids floating around in there so the corals can feed all night. It's very important for them to feed. So I turn those on. So I spot feed my corals and feed my fish. Um, I have uh, two MP40s here as well. There's a controller. And that's the MP40. I think the best, best pump out on the market you can get. Pretty good. I like those. So yeah, that's how I spot feed my tank. I find I get a lot of better coral growth and color on them all the time so yeah so if you like this video um, subscribe uh, hit the like button plus I'm gonna show you my sump and I'm gonna show you all the different things on my tank I have alright guys um, thanks for watching